Okay, our next technique is going to involve a situation where you've been backed against the wall. As I said, most of our techniques involve making your, your movement, making your reaction before the person has a chance to actually put their hands on you. But for the benefit of those who have different uh, reaction times, we're also going to include techniques where, for whatever reason, the person was quicker than you or you reacted too slow and they were able to put their hands on you. So that way you can learn how to react from both situations. Okay, so again, the situation's here. You've been backed against the wall and the person has you with a chokehold and this is the technique that can be applied. Okay, here we go. Okay, again. One more time. Okay. Alright, we're going to slow it down from here. So again, the person was able to get their uh, choke grip around you. Okay? Now, ladies, remember, you got to react quickly. Don't sit there. Don't hesitate. You see, don't start to wonder what's going on. Make your reaction. Time is, is essential, so you got to react as soon as possible. So as soon as that grip is made, you got to go to action. Again, as we mentioned, that the soft tissue. So a quick shock to the face, right? Shock to the face, then to the groin. Then she grabs from here on the out, outer part of the hand, grabbing and twisting that part. It causes pain. Right? You can, and if you put enough pressure, you can also damage the wrist. Once the person is in that situation of pain, you grab and slam against the wall, and you're going. And again, ladies, go. As soon as you make that last deadly move, you go. You don't stick around to see what this person is going to do or whatever. You go and you, you, you get as far away as you can. Okay? Let's go through it again slowly. <clears throat> Time again, slow. All right. Again, that first move is your is your opening. That's your first move. That shock move, right to the face, straight palm, right to the person's face. Then from there, shocking to the groin. As you know, every man pretty much is, is is weak in that area. So from there, once those those are the things that will be called to loosen the person up, put them in a state where they're more. Uh, with, for your benefit, more able for you to make your move that you need to make. So you loosen him up to the face, to the groin. You take his mind off of what he's doing. You take his mind off of the grip that he has by quickly shocking there, there, causing immediate pain. Then, again, grabbing the uh, outer edge of the hand and twisting that part. Of course, the more pressure you put on it, you can actually cause a great deal of damage and injury to the person's uh, wrist area. Okay. Once he's in that state of pain, you quickly grab, slam against the wall, and you get out of there. We're gonna go through one more time slowly. Okay. All right. So now we're gonna go through it in a more uh, moderate fashion, slowly, some slow to moderate fashion, and then we'll do it one more time in the normal speed. Okay. So we're just gonna go through it in a uh, moderate fashion. Ready? Now we're going to put it right in the more realistic fashion. Here we go. Nice. One more time. Uh. 